this video is in response to a question on DCS I got um, on the DCS Discord about how to have like a spell sword character. So you have a fireball in one hand and your sword in the other. Um, and the user had been stuck for quite a while. So first, you're going to want to open your DCS project and go to your project settings uh, and change your ability attack to something that's not your primary attack. So I changed mine to my mouse button too. Can really be anything. Like, I mean, as long as it's not key bound to something else, like you, you could put it to F, except F is bound by drink potion or something like that. Use item, I think. Um, so after you do that, go to your animation blueprint. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the state machine of the magic base locomotion. So this should be kind of done by default anyway, but it's not, and it should be. Um, so this is a state machine. We're going to call this uh, spell sword state machine. And this will go in here. Should copy this. Actually, I'll finish it first and then I'll copy it. Okay, no, I do have to do it twice. Okay. Okay, so what this is doing is it's giving us giving us a state machine so that we can turn left and right when we're in melee because otherwise you won't have a turn in place and your you'll speak your, your feet will slide around on the floor when you turn which is stupid looking so like i said this should be in this like a state machine in general should be in the melee generally anyway because any time time you're using like a sprint or any sort of extra movement states you're going to want to put them in here so yeah you'll do that copy it paste it do it again because if you saw, this one said one-handed, and this one says one-handed shield, so slightly different poses, I guess. Um, these blend spaces are also built a little strange, but I'll explain that on a different video. And that's why there's foot sliding, is because they're not technically not built properly. This is made to be this one. Let's see about this. Okay. Okay, so now we have two state machines feeding that. That's all we have to do in here for now. Um, and then we go to this, I'm going to actually do later, because we'll go to our BB combat character, there's ability events here. We're going to want to disable this thumb button for um, secondary ability input, because you won't need it. Um, this is combat type here, you want to change this to melee, so that if it's if you're in melee, that you can use your ability attack. Um, that's all has to be done in that one. In the Steel Sword, we have to change the um, Ability Player Shockwave to Ability Player Fireball. I think long term, if there was something I was really going to cut out manually, this would be the thing, is is having an ability bound to a weapon, especially only one, is really janky in my opinion, but um, it's just how the system's built right now. If you dug into it, it wouldn't be that hard, I don't think, to switch out, but it's not ideal the way that it is. You want to change in the DI fire spell to magic left hand so that this 
uh, VFX will spawn in the left hand instead of the right. And then in the final thing, in the ability player fireball, you want to go in here. These are your ability montages. And this is your update socket. So every time you cast um, a spell, it's going to update your socket. So if you go left, 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 it's always going to use the left hand, no matter what. And uh, I tried reducing this before, so it was only casting once. It's not wise. I would just leave the amount of integers it has for now, unless you know what you're doing. Um, switch these to always left hand. So left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand. Um, go inside of this. And instead of having magic upper body slot here, you want to switch this to upper body. And I don't know why that was a thing, but now I should be able to cast fireballs while I'm in melee. And that is all it takes. So once again, state machines. Go in here, disable this extra input, change this to uh, melee combat or melee to type here, um, switch the ability to fireball, uh, switch the socket location to the left hand, and then the ability montages and the left hand sockets, and then finally switch the montage slot to upper body. And that's all you got to do. Hope that helps.